is Omaha at a protest in the summer of 2020. I was walking through downtown Omaha as police declared our marching illegal as they started to follow us. I was too far away from my car to leave and too scared of those who were supposed to protect me. I had seen what they had done to other protesters before calling home. My dad was coming and my dad was here 30 minutes later looking for me only blocks away as we started crossing the overpass. I didn't see the police until we stopped. They stood blocking our path, our cars only three blocks away. I saw the police as I always had been. Here, for the third time that summer, this is Omaha as I watched. Some protesters tried to peacefully get through. The police were doing it again as they hopped. And people fell to the ground. I'm not safe here. They said we were under arrest. I'm not safe here. More people streaming into police cars. I'm not safe here. Bang. Nowhere to go but down as we huddled close to the railing of the overpass, asking if everyone was okay, hoping, praying we wouldn't be shot too. The person shot with a pepper ball only feet from us. Our eyes beginning to water. As we coughed and sneezed, the police put us in zip ties one by one, all 126 of us, as we were still burning, sitting us down on the hot concrete after a summer day, still so privileged to think. They might let us go to our cars, might follow their own rules and cite us instead, might not arrest children, as if that was too much to ask, as if they could do anything but make a point of their power over those protesting peacefully in a free country. This is Omaha. My dad stood less than a block away waiting for me to be released as I texted my mom with my hands behind my back, ties burrowing into my skin. I was still so lucky, so privileged. The police knew I was only 17, an hour into my wait. After two and a half hours, I was released with bruised wrists that needn't be bruised. Many were crowded in jail for more than a day, even as. There was no broken windows, no graffiti, no violence, except by the police's hand. Months later, my and most of the charges were dropped. A hundred people bruised for nothing. This is Omaha.